Merhabalar. I wish I was there sitting with you over there, but unfortunately I'm in a different position now and I could not make it. But I remember it was in 1982, I was coming from war of Beirut, arrived in Paris after coming out of a hospital because I was wounded there. And Gokshin uh, Sipa Yoglu in Sipa office, he told me that, Reza, I want to introduce you a very good friend of mine and a fantastic photographer from Turkey. His name was Ara Güler. I have never heard his name, but we went for a lunch in Paris and uh, we start just talking, three of us. I realized that what he's saying, it's more than just a photographer. He has a very deep understanding of the world. He has a deep understanding of the humanity. And I got a lot of interest knowing about him. Gokshin has shown him my pictures before, so he knew my pictures. When we came back to the office, he had some print. And he started showing me his works, all black and white prints, one better than other. And suddenly, there was this print that when I looked to it, it just grabbed my heart. It was unbelievable pictures of a little boy having gone in his mouth and a girl having the bread. And this was for me the whole story of the nation, of what's happening around us. Gone and bread. He has captured it many, many, many years ago. And I was so emotional that I started crying. And he came to me and he started saying, okay, I understand now who you are, and here is print for you. It shows his generosity also. This was our first meeting, and over this time, till the last days, we kept this friendship growing and growing, and meeting each other in Paris, in Istanbul, going around, traveling around. I traveled with him in Turkey and he showed me a lot of incredible places. But then, when I start traveling the world, then I understand how important he is. A lot of countries in the world, when I went, when I start talking about photography, when we start talking about the Istanbul, about Turkey, the first name always in everywhere in the world coming out was, oh, do you know Ara Güler? And this was fantastic to see that his name, his aura, his photograph has already all around the world. The, for me, it was important to see how the people really understanding the good photography, people understanding even not seeing the photographer, but understanding his heart. Usually, I heard that people are saying that Ara is the eye of Istanbul. But I believe that Ara was more than this. Ara was the heart of Istanbul, heart of a Turkey, heart of humanity, with his work and spreading the understanding about the people around him, spreading the understanding of the world, of Istanbul, not only Istanbul, the whole Turkey. That's the, the role that Ara played. But his passion about his work was bigger than this, bigger even than his body, his brain. When he was 80 years old, National Geographic Turkey wanted to make a whole special issue about him, and they asked me to write editorial about him. But this was many, many years ago. He kept saying that, I would like to have my own place, my own museum. Even if he was very thick in the last years of his life, but his brain kept his body till his museum was made. Then he's gone. I mean, the body has gone. His, his brain, his thought is always there. A few weeks ago, I was in Istanbul, and I went to visit his museum. What I believe that we, you, sitting here, we should do 
we should create now a committee, an, an international committee of the photographer, of the people who knows Ara or he met him and make sure that his work and his museum will be last forever. But not only le let the museum as it is, we need to have all of us to get together and create a real committee in the name of Aragular and to make sure that everything is happening with his photograph, that everything is happening in the museum will be the way that he was. A brave man with a great heart. Let's do it.